I've always been fascinated with and a little leery of time. As a kid, it seemed like something to endure, yet time could vanish into big splashes of joy. Since I began writing poetry at age 14, I thought I was focused most on the earth and sky, but about a decade ago, I realized I'd always been writing about time, how it moved and changed, and moved and changed me, how it could be measured by humans or seasons. This led me to How Time Moves, which includes a whole lot of poetry from the last 30 years, as well as explorations of memory and internal time travel, time in relation to the more than human world. Pandemic time turning our clocks inside out but giving us new glimpses of the world and how we travel through and beyond time. Here is one of the new poems, What You Need Is Here. In the last buzz of bees and cicadas, everyone naps, dogs and humans, snakes in the sunny field, Osage orange leaves dreaming down. A bird in the tree is worth more than its weight in song while wind sheds another layer of the old year so the new one can pour into us. I wake and start to hum, the afternoon steady as limestone, also rolling through time. Old wishes for worth or proof, ashes sparked upward from a dying fire, dissolve. The new yearnings have yet to land in the absence of hunger. When I try to imagine what to prepare for, I can only hear the yawn of distant cars on asphalt. I can only see a spider working something out of nothing. An airplane miles above insects, stories below, ferrying the past out of its confines to the next landing. The possibility right now as ever for love to join the chorus. How Time Moves is rich with selections from my previous books, Lot's Wife, Reading the Body, Animals in the House, Landed, Chasing Weather, and Following the Curve. I'm very grateful to Meadowlark Press for publishing this mothership of a poetry book. You can get your copy of How Time Moves at Meadowlark Press.